fellow gargoyles, welcome back to some more Pokemon uh, Sierra. Maybe the finale? I don't know. You know. I don't. I'm just recording the episode. That's right. So let's go. Let's see what's inside this fucking thing. Oh, other than a fucking dog in the background. Professor Sada? Human presence detected with a... Oh my god, it's a fucking robot! What? What? What, who else, what else would say human presence, for fuck's sake? Hello? Dog, I'm not talking to you. Oh my god. Deactivating sleep mode. See, oh my god. Oh, that's creepy. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, Scourge. Thank you for coming. Fuck that, I'm doing the robotic voice. Hello, Scourge. Thank you for coming. Hmm. And there's that fucking Coridon. Then the Master Ball? No, back to your ball. Jesus Christ. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you traveled with. Your Coridon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. Oh, territory battle. Okay. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true professor. Then who are you? I am an inter uh, artificial intelligence the professor created, imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away to Oh. No. Oh, wow, that sucked. Damn. Passed away during the incident. Oh, and that's in that fucking area. That's where it was destroyed. She died in there. Passed away. The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than the Coridon to survive and thrive. That is why she threw herself in front of your Coridon in attempt to protect it. From the first time I reached out to Director Clavel, I asked to uh, put in a contact with you. I was never more than an AI. Scourge, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. My what? Any questions can be addressed as we make our our descent. Follow me. Damn, so the professor is gone. Oh, this is gonna be uh, difficult to uh, <laughs> tell his uh, son this, or tell her son this. Yikes. Um... You know, the thing is, I'm surprised we did not see her body. Well, I mean, it was a long time ago. She probably freaking, well... Decomposed. Yeah. Fair enough. Or maybe the Pokemon... Oh, let's not finish that sentence. Yeah, no. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Looks like we're about to go into heaven. How about no? <laughs> I don't want to go in there. Well, I'm not trust, man. We have to go in here. Hmm. So fucking weird I'm talking to an AI. Scourge, it is truly a great relief to me that you came. Uh, answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? Uh, what happened to the real professor? As I explained bef to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research situation, her phys physical body received grievous injuries and left it unable to sustain life. I'm afraid that this fact may be difficult for her son, Arvin, to accept. I now manage this zero lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything you wish to ask? What is an AI, really? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. 
The results of these calculations are expressed by this mechanical body built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that made up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you want to know? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. Wait, what? So she just made her another s herself? What the fuck? Weird, but okay. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of crazy. She's been able to talk to herself for the... Uh, you know, if you're going to make a robot, why make her, the robot look like you? Makes, now you're just crazy. Oh, coming from the guy with different voices. Shut up, man. It, is, it sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there. And it can then draw them back here to the present. When she was alive, Professor Sada had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age. What you might call ancient Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically drop ancient Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is it you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon's powers seem to stem from a primal energy of the ancient past, and this energy has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this modern age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet, I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original Professor ever devised. Scourge, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you've gained to destroy... The dream Sada once cherished. Yes. I will destroy it. I appreciate your willingness to help. Hmm. We have reached the lowest level. Damn, that took a while. No kidding. I mean, did you journey to the center of the earth? <laughs> At this point, I wouldn't be surprised. Holy shit! Um... Now how in the world did they build this? Oh my god, are we inside a gemstone for fuck's sake? I mean, how would you have the time to build this? Behold, this is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. Mm-hmm. Okay, god, fuck hell. That's blurred off out of here. I feel like I'm trapped inside of a fucking diamond. No kidding. Jesus Christ. Uh, duh. Uh, okay, I guess I'm just gonna talk to you then. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor I professor's ID, which hasn't been embedded within the Scarlet Book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we, we would need in that book of all places. She loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal here, you'll be able to stop that time machine. There is just one issue. What's up? If you tried to stop the time machine, I would most likely attack you. Wait, what? Why? Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will be... I'm no more than a battle machine bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond, bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. 
Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal. Oh, fuck. Um. Oh, boy. I don't think I have any more candies. Oh, I do. I do. I really fucking do. Okay, um, I'm giving one for you. Wow, I didn't even level up. Damn it. Alright, got you to 62. Or 62, that's 72, idiot. There we go. That was the best I can do. Actually, can I boost anybody with the attack? Won't have any effect. Won't have any effect. No. Can't boost you anymore. Oh, here we go. I can go up to seven? Holy shit! Damn! Nice! I'll give you all of them. I'll give you all! Uh... No effect. How about you? Okay. Calcium, special attack. Actually, could you really? Because you... Oh. You. There we go. Alright, I guess... I'm going to save, because just in case I get my ass whooped. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh, boy. Hopefully she won't be tough, but you never know. I deem confirmed, Professor Sada. Access granting. Initiating shutdown mode. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Uh-oh. It's turning yellow. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitializing. It is up to you now, Scourge. All AIs Sada switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. What the fuck? Okay, what the hell? Please defeat me. I will do my best. What in the world? Oh dear God! Uh oh. At at last. At last, my dream is within reach. Ah. Uh, and you're now getting in the way. Oh, malfunctioning here. Oh hi! What are you doing up there? Well. Holy shit! Oh my god! The head twitching and shit? Uh-uh. That's the karate on there. Wait, what? What is that? It's full, full corona, but this is a... Okay. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not gonna let anyone get in the way of my goals. Okay, this... This might be good, or this might be bad. Time to play rough. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Now this is interesting. Child, do you actually understand ancient Pokemon's weaknesses? Actually, I did not. I just sort of guessed there. Okay, no Flame Body, which is good. Sandy Shocks. I believe... I believe this is the Magneton. I'm throwing out a Rouge. All right, go I'm a rouge. I blame my friends for knowing these Pokemon. Now again, I'm not that mad. They're all Master Balls. Why? What the fuck? What in the world is that thing? My friends, this is the fall. Oh. Oh my God. Can you imagine you can do mess with a wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? Really? This is the power in the ancient past holds. Splendid, isn't it? I was like, you can't move again, bitch. Damn. That didn't do nothing. This charge. Damn, I was hoping it would survive the hit. It does look like a duck type, though. That it does. You know, I'm gonna give that a shot now that you mention it. Go, Dushbon. It might be a steel type, though. Play rough. Is that no, not effective? That was a normal hit. I'm on the time. Yep. I didn't even pay attention to the freaking levels. Ah, uh, okay. It was like game. Screamtail did. Was a normal hit when they attacked it? I think so. Okay. I caught the fucker. I didn't even remember. Oh, it was a. Oh, it was a fairy fighter. Shit. Um, you know what? Annihilate. I'm gonna need you. I am going to need you. Come on out of here, buddy. I might have to terrestrialize you into a ghost. I'm 
mean, why the Master Balls, though? Seriously, you only get one fucking Master Balls? What the hell? Alright, um, so yeah. Because you're part fairy, and the fairies do these dumb. So I'm going to strike Ghost. Alright, return to me. Well, not return to me, but... Fucking terror type, go! <laughs> Whatever, dude! Ooh. Marco, ghost typing! Yep. I'll leave you first. Play rough. Yep, see, I knew it was coming. Gunk shot! Oh! Damn! Come on, buddy. You gotta hit him with this thing. Oh, come on! Jesus, man, come on, do it! Jesus. Fucking gunk shot, thank you! Oh! <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, 66, okay. Now I know the fucking thing. Or fucking how much the leveling. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna deal with Coridon at the end of this. Maybe, or maybe not. Fair enough. Oh, god, fuck you. You damn fucking thing. Why, why did I use that? I could have just used the fucking Shadow Punch. Actually, no, that wouldn't work because it hurt me. I, actually, I don't know. Doesn't matter, it's dead. Alright. Flutter main, that is the... mischievous. So I should go with Dush Bond. I do like the fact you're not using the other Pokemon. You know, that's a damn fact. Why am I using... I just love my... I just love my doggy. I guess... I guess I just love my doggo. Uh, God, you're so high up there, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, wait, nah, that didn't work at all. Oh, boy. Hmm, you know what? I'm going to play rough. Mm -mm -mm. I'm crazy to kill him. Come on, play rough. Oh, that's my good puppy! Yeah, look at that. How many she's got left? Two, I think. What do you got? Brute Bonnet. Okay, that's... Fuck, she... <sighs> she can beat that. She can beat that, right? Yeah, she beat that thing. She beat it with a fairy move, and she's the only one with a fairy type. Alright, uh, Max Potion. Because I need to see what the hell it's gonna do against it with a hit. Alright. We're gonna heal up. Giga Drain. Yeah, yeah, you, you do well, that's fine. Alright, so yeah, super effective. Here we go, play. Oh! I know it's not that front door. It's not, but. Come on, I'm trying something, dude. I mean, I can't use any. Oh my god! Maybe not use that move. Maybe shut up! I don't have any other physical fairy moves. To be honest, does the fairy moves ever be more physical than special? To be honest, I don't even recognize- I don't think I know a lot of fairy moves. I know there's Dazzling Gleam, Fairy Win, uh, Play Rough, Baby Doll Eyes. I don't- There are not a lot of fucking fairy moves. Who knows? Oh my god. Alright, listen. Come on. We gotta kill this thing, because he's he's healing way too much. You got this, girl. Come on. Oh, that's my girl. That's my girl. I love you. Oh. Oh, damn. Alright. Roaring Moon. I do... Uh, you know what? I'm going... I'm throwing back Scalibur, because I think... I think this is the Salamance. The Salamence? Yeah. I do believe it's that fucker. Everything is proceeding with my expectations. I'm afraid the possibility of you winning is zero. Right. Okay. You're fucking dragon. I'm pretty sure it is. Wow! Look at that thing. I will admit that is a damn good design for this one. Photosynthesis? Or, no, protosynthesis. Damn. <laughs> Okay. Um, fuck. Hopefully you go first. Nope. 
Oh, God, you're so fragile. Leave Rush. Oh, fucking beautiful. Mwah. I mean, God damn, it's like a fucking glass cannon or some shit. <laughs> it really is. Impossible. Oh, look at that. I'm frying her circuits. <laughs> Now get down from there! There we go. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh. Uh. Scourge. Oh boy. What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, I'll with it, you. Who are you, really? Thank you for everything. That time machine has finally... She has finally been stopped. You're really not my mom, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. So pr proud of you, m my. Sorry you were alone so so long, R.P. M mom. Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to the time machine detected. Threat to the time machine detected. Whoa, whoa, what's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. What in the world? What now? Uh oh. As intended. Oh god. Paradise production protocol to remove the offending obstacle? What was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Polka balls except those registered to sought. Oh wow. Initializing gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. Damn. All AIs disabled. Oh shit. Who was that VTuber? It's Shy Lily. Shy Lily. You are my womp womp. Wumps My only womp, womp womp. You make me womp womp. One time's a womp. You never know womp. How much I <coughs> womp womp. This isn't good. I mean, we shut this bitch off. What the? F again? Oh dear. I'm battling this bitch again. You are not getting in my way. Oh oh my god oh. Oh, what the fuck? Uh oh. Great. Yeah, you forgot. They locked the ball. Um. Yeah, I can't battle shit. It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. How are you supposed to battle? Pokemon. Coridon's the only one. Woo! Come on, buddy. You got this. Don't be scared. Come on. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, it's battle time! It's morphin' time, motherfucker! <laughs> Whoa! Mm -mm -mm. All right, time for some round two, bitch. All right, let's do this, Coridon. Hmm. 
Alright. Sunlight turned harsh. Hmm. Alright, 68. Now my problem is, I have no idea what the fuck this... You know what? Actually, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Fighting dragon, okay. Okay, so we're fighting dragons, okay. Huh. Ooh, but we could go to fucking... Can I? Well, no, I can't even go Terra type. Hmm. Let's do Terra Blast. Tron. Oh, you taunt. Or taunt. You dick. Fell for the taunt. Terra Blast. Oh, that didn't do shit. It changed it into its battle form. Let's go, Crydon. You got this. I was about to say, we're going to do some anime shit here. All right, let's see. The users transform and crash to the ground, causing a massive prehistoric explosion. This move, power is boosted more than usual if it's a super effective hit. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Uh, the user has terrestrialized. The, yeah, if I could terrestrialize, I can't do that. I guess I'm doing this. He will fall here within the guardian, guardian paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Collision course! Ah. Damn! Alright, I guess we're just doing this. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goals will be eliminated. Oh god! Come on, I don't have that. And the defense goes up too. Papa, this is gonna suck! It is, Jesus Christ. Shook off the taunt. Oh yeah, I did attack twice. This looks like it could be bad. Uh, hang in there, Scourge. Why are you telling me that? You need to tell that to Coridon, not me. The data say I'm superior. Fallen become the foundation upon my dream may be pelt. I got Giga Impact? Oh! Holy shit. Topped it out so you wouldn't feel sad. Jesus Christ. You took that hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. Tax. Oh. Yeah, but now I gotta heal him. Fuck. Here's this. Max potion. I mean, it's a good thing you build up your fucking attack power, buddy, but goddamn. Okay, yeah, that's right. Oh, man, we. Can we really pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey, Scourge, your tarot's glowing. Hmm? You're right. Scourge, right on. Terrestrialize and finish this off. You got it. Attack rose again. On the defense. Ugh. Oh, I got the power of anime on my side. My god, that's so cliche. It is. A Wait. Huh. Oh, there we go. Alright, uh, Terra Blast. Here we go. This is the perfect way of doing this. We're getting dragon type. Fucking beautiful. Alright, buddy. Tear up blast. Ah. Almost got him. Yeah. Almost. Show it. Show him you won't be pushed around. Time to trash less and give him the super effective hits. God damn. Alright, let's finish this. Terra Blast. Finish him! Do it! Ah, diggity damn! It's over. Fucking done, you damn robot. Ah, uh, defeated the damn protection pro protocol. Fuck. Uh, game? Come back to reality. You did it! it it's not going berserk anymore. How? How very astounding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. 
Are you back to normal? Yes. A completely for unforeseen outcome. Even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology over conceived. Even on, on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead prove your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves. The courage to hold faith in your friends. And the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how difficult your own past may have been, I believe you'll be able, capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now, with pride. I thank you, Scourge. I thank all of you children. But I'm afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so as long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the time machine reboots and when stopped. Oh. What does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied you, your freedom, the way you came together, working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength had to better yourself, throwing all you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek nor to fight for a treasure all on your own. Ah, and the way that you soared free through the very skies of those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be as free as you all, free to seek out that I which I might treasure above all else. Not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop. For I am exentably connected to it. So I've made a decision. I'll use the time machine to journey to the world of the ancient past that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now. Right when we finally reached you. I am not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that ancient world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with a thrill of adventure? Arvin, I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loved you. Are you... You can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No, I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Arvin, Karaidon, Scourge. It is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Mom! I would scream, but I can't do that. Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. Mm -mm. Going into the past, I guess. They only shut off the damn time machine. Yeah, I was gonna say she needs to be destroyed, but I guess just sending her to the to the past will work. <laughs> uh. And there it goes. Mm -mm -mm. How could you just go, Bob? Arvin, you okay, bud? Yeah, somehow deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but it... When it said my name... Using her voice and wearing her face. Even if it was a fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just, I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's, that's okay. What's up, buddy? I guess Karaidon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form... How cool is that? It's so strong. 
If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. Hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Scourge and Crydon just saved all of Paldea. That's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Scourge. Yeah, that's my butt, Scourge, for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor is gone, I bet she's finally having a real fun adventure of her own in the past. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Um, yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Scourge? Let's go home. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. Yep. Well, what a hell of an adventure. I mean, it's not really the end of the series until we see the credits, buddy. Ah, where's the ten credits? I was told that I have to make sure I fucking mute the song. Wait, why? <laughs> Copyrighted. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, game? Uh-oh. Oh my god, if this game crashes right now, I swear to god. Game? Game? Oh no. Are you serious? Oh my fucking... Oh, there we go. Fuck! Oh, I was about to be so fucking pissed. Uh-oh. Okay, everybody, listen up. Uh, who's saying? What is it? Let's take the long road home and get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... Sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Come on, buddy. Hey, Scourge, not you too. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, see, come on. Am I? Yeah. Oh, all right, fine. I guess we're doing this. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. Indeed. Very good. Very good indeed. Hmm. Okay, so we're back. I just realized, oh shit, the fucking song is over. But yeah, I, I muted the freaking song because obviously, I, luckily, I have friends who already played the game way ahead of time and they told me that it's copyrighted. So luckily, they're like, okay, I'm gonna mute this area. Or pretty much is edited out to the point where we're here again. Usually, I leave the credits in because people who made the game deserve credits because they made it this game and everything else. Now let's talk about how I feel about the game in general. Um, <laughs> overall, for me, the game is a 7 out of 10. I know that's... Thank you, Treasure Friends. Thank you. I know a lot of people will think that's kind of kind of harsh, but yet again, there are a lot of people who think otherwise. Ah, oh, look at the pizza! Yeah, smile! <laughs> Alright, nice picture. But uh, now that we're done with all that, or maybe I just cut out that whole part. I don't know. Let's let's get talking about the game itself. I, as I said, seven out of ten for me. Um, for me, here's the thing: the game did promise us an open world. Problem with the open world: too many bugs, too many glitches. This this game needed more development time. It really did. It really needed it. At this point of recording, we got the first batch of uh. Yeah, the first batch of uh, upgrades or whatever the hell it is. The first patch. There we go. The first patch on this game. Not a lot of difference. Not, not that I could tell. It just seems like it's the same. Um, overall, it's still a great game. I, I love the story mode. The story mode is what sold for me so far. Overworld is still good to travel and go anywhere you want. It was That's a great idea. But here's my problem. Frame rate issues, glitches, they do tend to ruin the game itself. It does. And before everybody complains about it, like, but it, blame the system, blame the system, blame Nintendo. I hate to say this, you can't blame the system. Because let's look at Breath of the Wild. 
that's an open world as well. And granted, they took a lot of time to make that game, and that's what Pokemon should have done. Game Freak or Nintendo, I don't know whose decision it was, but it was a bad one. They should have took their time making this game. They should have. Patch everything up, make it look good. You know, just a lot more work needed to be done with this game. It really did. So maybe next time when they do Gen 10, and believe me, people want another open world game, hopefully they will take a lot more time into the game. And, you know, of course, the reason for the other score, or for 7 out of 10 as well, is the Pokemon. This has to be maybe the worst generation of Pokemon for me, anyway, when it comes to designs. Like, I want to like the Pokemon. I do. And I know some friends of mine are gonna be, you know... <laughs> they, uh, they feel different, okay? I, they're more open-minded, I guess. I'm... I, I guess I'm just different, but again, that's my opinion. The Pokemon designs are horrible. Hell, I didn't even choose a starter in this fucking generation. <laughs> I, I didn't want none of them. I don't like any of them. I mean, that's why I went with, well, oh, hello. Uh, oh, okay, thank you. That's why I went with Dush Bond. I mean, he was the first, I mean, Fido was basically the one I liked the most. He was, the, when I saw the Pokedex of the new Pokemon, that if Fido was the only one I just like, I want that. Annihilate was somewhat, but the problem is I just saw the picture. I didn't see the full 3D of this thing. But when I finally did, I'm like, I want him too. He's fucking awesome. I love him. I mean, I really love him. His his power is just <laughs> fucking stupid. Look at that shit. Um, but yeah, the other four is just they're just there. I mean, I I I mean, I kind of I kind of like this one. I don't know why. It's not a great design. It's an okay. I mean, it's a good design, I guess. I mean, this one is pretty good. I like that. This one, I thought it was stupid because of the picture there, right there. But again, once I played the game, I had to see the 3D model of it. And once I saw this, I'm like, okay, I like this design. I don't, I mean, this one's okay, but the shiny form is pretty damn cool. But again, it shouldn't be the shiny. It should be at the very beginning or the basic, you know, how they look. If you can't sell me on the, the original look, you're not going to sell me on getting the Pokemon. Um, so that kind of affects my score. But again, don't take it as a grain of salt or whatever. It's just my opinion. If you love the game, you can love the game. If you hate the game, you can hate the game. That's the best thing about, I guess, being someone of a critic. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a critic guy, but it's just my opinion. It's a 7 out of 10, mostly because the story... The story drove this home. If this was a horrible story, I think the score would probably have been 4 out of 10 for me. If it wasn't for the story modes, like for going to all the, you know, the Titans, the freaking Team Star, the, the freaking Pokemon League, and then the final one together, this would have definitely been a whole lot uh, lower of a score. Because, I mean, I'm not the only one. There are people who already returned their games to GameStop or fucking sold it off somewhere. Because they didn't like this. Just because of the glitches and stuff like that. But overall, I had a great time. Um, as I said, 7 out of 10. It just has problems. And I'll... Ooh, excuse me. Also, I'm making the decision. Um, right now, I'm not doing Pokemon Violet. Well, <laughs> Zook's doing Pokemon Violet. But we're not going to touch that for a very long time. Because right now, I am... At this point, I'm pokemon out. I am tired. <laughs> I've recorded so much Pokemon games, I am sorry in advance. Right now, I'm not using uh, friggin' Chippy or Dangar right now, because, I mean, at this point, I'm being the real me. The real Scourge, I guess you can call it. I'm tapping out to Pokemon for a while. Like, I'm still, I want to do Sword and Shield. I still got to do Violet. Hi, Jade, nice to meet you again. Um... And then I got to do Violet. <laughs> All right, Sword and Shield and Violet. Those are the last three Pokemon games, you know, that are left to record. Unless all of a sudden, like, oh, the remakes of blah, blah, blah. And of course, I know there's DLC coming. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck. I'm just, like, I'm just Pokemon out. I think I'm not going to touch Pokemon maybe when June or July happens. I don't know. I haven't made that decision. If you're still watching after my rant, I'm... Thank you. I just want people to understand that I'm not going to touch Pokemon for a while. That way, you don't expect it to happen. 
But all right, that is gonna do it for me. I am finally done with the series. I <laughs> this is a hell of a journey. I I would definitely say the story wise, story wise as well. This is definitely better than Black and White. Black and White had a great story as well. Um. So yeah, I mean it, it's up there. It's either better than Black and White or just tied with it because it's so good. I definitely love the story mode. I'd wish they had voice acting in it. That way it would save me the work of reading it. And, um, of course, throughout the series, I am sorry with the voices and whatnot. I... I don't know. I think I was just getting down playing Pokemon so much or... So, I don't know. Something came over me. I'm just like, uh, 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 stop reading. Stop. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I really don't. But I guess it, I guess it's just the fatigue of playing so many Pokemon games in a row. With that, I just I'm just tired out. So yeah, that, that's that's gonna be that's just gonna be it for me. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. All right, until then, my fellow gargoyles, I hope you did enjoy the series. If you did, please be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to be notified what I do on the channel. Hey, why am I even mentioning that? Hit that outro already. Look. <laughs>